Today on Sugar Spun Run, I'll be showing you how to make chocolate biscotti. Hey Sugar Spun Bakers, it's Sam here, and today I am so excited to be sharing another carefully tested, well-researched, and perfected recipe. This one comes by popular request from those of you who have loved my traditional biscotti recipe. We are making a nice chocolate version. Let's go ahead and get started. You'll want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and you're going to need a large mixing bowl. Now in this mixing bowl, we are going to combine 12 tablespoons or one and a half sticks of softened unsalted butter and one and one third cup of granulated sugar. Now you could make today's recipe in a stand mixer. Today I'm going to be using my electric hand mixer. And we'll cream together the butter and sugar until everything is nicely combined and there are no lumps of butter remaining. You want a nice creamy mixture. Next, you're going to need three large eggs and we're going to stir these into the batter one at a time. Next, we'll add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Stir that in as well. All right, now we can set this aside and you're going to need a separate bowl for your dry ingredients. Here, we'll combine two and three fourths cup of all-purpose flour, one half cup of natural unsweetened cocoa powder, a tablespoon of baking powder, and three fourths teaspoon of salt. Whisk everything together until it's nicely combined and then we'll bring back our butter mixture and we're going to gradually add the dry ingredients to the butter mixture. Now I like to do this in three or four parts and after each addition, you do wanna make sure that you stir until the flour is really well incorporated. You don't wanna to add too much of the flour mixture at once. It can make it difficult to incorporate into the dough and you could have a really tough, difficult to work with biscotti dough. I'm doing this by hand, but you could use your electric mixer on low speed if you prefer. All right, my chocolate tester just came in to do our quality chocolate test. How is it, Luke? How's the chocolate? We're going to be using a blend of two different kinds of chocolate chips in today's recipe. Of course, you can just use whatever chocolate you have on hand, but I like to use a mix of regular and mini semi-sweet chocolate chips. I'm adding one half cup of regular chocolate chips and two thirds cup of mini. And we'll stir these in until they're completely combined. Next, grab yourself a baking sheet. I like to line mine with parchment paper. Now we'll divide our biscotti batter or dough or whatever you wanna call it roughly in half. I'm gonna make two even sized piles. and we'll form this into logs. Now the dough might be a little bit sticky, so I like to take a little bit of flour and just lightly dust my hands with it, and then it makes it a lot easier for me to form the dough into logs. Now I want these to be about 10 to 12 inches long and about three inches wide, and make sure you space the two logs at least four inches apart because they are going to spread as they bake in the oven. These don't fit super neatly on my baking sheet, which is why I put them on an angle like I did here. All right, we'll take these over to our preheated oven where they're going to need to bake for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, we'll remove the biscotti from the oven and we're going to let it cool completely before we go any further with it. So once your biscotti is completely cooled, it should be totally cool to the touch. You're going to want to grab yourself a nice serrated knife. I like to use a bread knife and we're going to cut this into slices. Now cut it carefully. You don't want to break any of your slices. If your biscotti is completely cooled as it should be, this shouldn't really be a problem. And I'm just gonna cut it on a bias in slices that are about one inch thick. Now, once you've cut both loaves of your biscotti, we're just going to turn the biscotti so the slices are cut side down. And we'll just arrange them nicely on the baking sheet. All right, we'll take this back to our 350 degree Fahrenheit oven where it's going to bake for another 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, we'll remove it from the oven and we're going to need to flip each slice of biscotti. You can use tongs to do this if you want, but I find the chocolate biscotti can be a little fragile at this point. So I just like to use my hands to carefully and gently turn each slice over. Now we'll return the biscotti to the oven for another 10 to 12 minutes to let it finish baking. And all that's left to do now at this point is just let it cool and then you can go ahead and dig in. And that is how you make chocolate biscotti at home. I really hope you guys enjoy today's recipe and if you try this one out, please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. I always love hearing from you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mm. That's so good.